Hello and welcome back. This is Trisha Jaktiani and I am here with another advanced Excel tutorial to explain how you can use conditional formatting feature in Excel. There are different ways and methods for data visualization in Excel. Conditional formatting is one such method used in Excel for data visualization. Conditional formatting allows you to apply cell formatting selectively and automatically based on the content of the cell. In my example, I have the employee's data and I want to figure out which of these employees are being paid salary more than $20,000. For doing so, I will have to highlight all the cells where the salary is more than $20,000 and I can use conditional formatting for doing that. First, I will select the range of the cells where I need the conditional formatting to be used and then click on conditional formatting which fits under the home tab under the style group. Under highlight cell rules, I will select greater than and enter the amount as 20,000 in the box. You will see that Excel has automatically highlighted the cells which are more than 20, which has the number more than 20,000 in the red color because that is the default color picked up by conditional formatting. I can select the other colors which is from the drop down list or click on the custom format and select the color I wish to add for the conditional formatting and click on OK. You will see another option under the highlight cell rule which is less than between. These both can be used in the salary column again to highlight all the cells as per the condition. So say I want to highlight all the cells which has salary less than 10,000 in green color. So I can select the option again and use the green color this time. Click on OK. All the cells which has salary less than 10,000 will be colored in green. Similar to that, if I want to highlight all the cells where the salary is between 15,000 to 20,000 as blue, I will enter the numbers in the two columns given here and then select the color from the custom format and click on OK. It will add blue color for all the cells where the salary is more than 10,000, sorry, 15,000, but less than 20,000. Now moving on and understanding more about the conditional formatting, you will see under silent cell rule, there is something called as equal to. Say I want to identify or highlight all the cells where the department is admin. I will have to select the admin department column and then go to conditional formatting and select equal to under the highlight cell rule. Because I want to identify admin, I will enter the e under equal to box as admin and select the color I wish to add. This time I can select the pink color and click on OK. Here, wherever there is a admin color, sorry, admin department, the cells will be colored with pink color. Similarly, if I want to identify from the text, if there is a particular character that I am looking for in that cell, I can use the another option which is given here as text that contains. So I will select the whole column under last name. I am trying to identify wherever in the whole column I can see A N as the text available. So I will use A N in the box and click on OK. All the places where I can find A N will be colored in the or will be highlighted in the particular color that I have given there. The next option that you can see on the list here is the date occurring. Date occurring is very useful in conditional formatting because it allows you to highlight all the dates which you have given the condition for. Let's see the example sheet which I have here. In this sheet, I have the order information available along with the revenue received from that order and the payment due date for each of the customers. Now, I need to figure out all the payment due dates which are falling in this week. In order to do that, I will select the whole column and click on conditional formatting. Under highlight cell rules, I will select date occurring. Here you have number of options that you can select from, but because I want to highlight or identify all the cells where the payment due date is this week, I will select the option as this week and add the color that I wish to enter and click on OK. Wherever the date is or payment date is falling in this week, the cell will be colored in red. So here you can see a lot of cells which are colored in red. So all these is falling in the current week. So this is how your conditional formatting can be useful to identify the payment due date as well. So it becomes easier to now check the payment due date, see if the payment has already received. If not, then to check if we need to chase the client to ensure that the payment is received on time. Congratulations on completing the business dashboard using Excel course. Ready to elevate your career? Join our postgraduate certificate in data science and AI and gain exclusive benefits like a complimentary Python programming bootcamp, seven plus case studies, dedicated student support, and access to our job opportunities portal. Don't miss out on this chance to transform your career. Invest in yourself today and join our program. Click on the link in the description to enroll now and take the next step in your career journey.
now going back to my previous example i am going to identify the duplicate values in the employee code in order to do that again i will select the employee code column go to the highlight cell rules under conditional formatting and select duplicate values from this list again i can select the color that i wish to add and click on okay all the duplicate values will be colored in green so this is how you can use the conditional formatting to highlight all the duplicate values from the list let's now take a look at some conditional formatting presets under conditional formatting there are three presets one is data bars second is color scale and the third is icon scale set let's look at how does that work i am going to another example in my sheet where i have the sales data but this is another sales data here under the total cells i am going to use the one of the presets which is data bars data bars are like bar graphs the higher the value longer the bar in the cell so if i select any of these data bars excel will add a bar into each cell which will show which is the highest and which is the lowest similarly i can use the second one which is the color scale color scale will change the background color based on the cell values the highest the cell value the color will be green the lower the cell value the lowest the scale value the color will be red so it will start from green it will go on to amber then a little yellowish and then going to red getting darker so this is how your color bar scale works in conditional formatting the third and the last one is the icon set this is also very useful in conditional formatting you will see that the icon set can be used to add different symbol ratings and indicators so you can see these are all shapes that are given directions that are given ratings and indicators are available so and you can choose from any of these styles in the options provided we will see an example for one of these styles so i'll go to my another example sheet that i have on my list here i have the names of all the trainings that have been conducted in the organization and we had also asked the employees to give ratings as per the headings given here relevance of the program course material faculty and overall score so now this is the overall score which has been averaged out from all the employees and this is the total score that we have received now as per the scale that is given on the top i need to see five will be my excellent score and four will be my the or one will be my poor score i will be using the icon set option from the conditional formatting to give the shapes like this in all the ratings that i can see here in order to do that i'll go to conditional formatting under icon set i will select the option under rating which looks like pie diagram as soon as i do that you will see that excel has automatically picked the highest value with the full pie diagram and then the lowest value with the empty pie diagram so this is how your conditional formatting works to help you highlight the required cell and lets you spot important cues in a blink of an eye you will also notice that any any of my sheets wherever the conditional formatting was used the conditional formatting has still stays there now if i need to remove the conditional formatting i can go on to the sheet click on the conditional formatting and there is an option called as clear rules there are two options under the clear rules one is clear rules from the selected cell so if i have selected some cell and i only want to clear the rules rules means the conditional formatting that you have added that would be called as each rule so if you want to only remove the rules from the selected cells you can click this or if you want to clear the conditional formatting from the entire sheet you can click on clear rules from the entire sheet and all the colors will go away from the entire sheet so these are the basic rules that you can use in conditional formatting to highlight your required data there are other things that you can do with conditional formatting which is new rules where you can add the rule as per the formula so you can add a formula inside the conditional formatting to highlight only the cell where the formula has been fulfilled we will see that in the other video hope you found this useful thank you for watching